and the future, perhaps, service men and women are currently marching through downtown right now. Among those taking in today's parade is the Hall family of Houston. Five generations of them have served our country, including Christina, who is here today, and her father. And I ask, what can you do to celebrate that event today? She said, We've got two more days that we stay above that, except tomorrow on Friday, ahead of that shift in wind, be a little bit on the breezy side too, but once the wind shifts, the cooler air comes in, and by Saturday, we're not getting out of the 60s for highs in a lot of areas. So here at Future Track, notice as we go through the rest of the day, um, a northwesterly prevailing flow. 70s. Overnight tonight, it'll get cool, but not terribly chilly. We'll be in a lot of locations. And then tomorrow, we'll have winds starting off the day coming in out of the southeast, and watch temperatures warming up into the mid to upper 70s. We're going for a high of 80, but by midday into the early afternoon, winds start to change direction, and temperatures start to fall. And overnight, by early Saturday morning, some spots north of the city will be in the upper 30s, so a very crisp, cool start to your Saturday, and we warm things up only into the upper 60s. So afternoon planner today, a mild, comfortable, mid to upper 70s, increasing sunshine, clear into tonight, and an early look at your weekend, only two days out from there, 68 on Saturday, cool start, lots of sunshine both days, and your full seven-day forecast, the only rain chance was this morning, and then we are dry and comfortable right into the middle of next week when we do the pattern all over again, warming to near 80. By Wednesday. Break up? All right, then. Thank you. Nutcracker Market. And earlier this morning, we've just learned the suspect is dead. It's still not clear how he died. We've seen at least one other person being put into an ambulance, and we know shots were fired when the suspect came to a stop in the Goodwill parking lot in the Greens Point area. The chase lasted about 45 minutes through North Harris County, South Harris County, Southeast Harris County, and through downtown. We've got a live picture at the scene. The chase was prompted after the suspect allegedly fired shots at the Harris County Precinct 4 Constable's office on Monday. We'll have a crew with more on this story later. Now, lunchtime. Lunchtime special is what I call it. So let's get started. I have some turkey meat. It's like a turkey. Yeah, turkey. It's the individual sliced turkey with some lettuce, tomatoes, on red onions, bell peppers, jalapeno peppers, salt and pepper with some salt and vinegar chips, an orange. And the last bit of some Kool-Aid, pink lemon and lemonade. This is my lunchtime special of the day. If you like this lunchtime special, thumbs it up, like, comment, come on over and join me.